Hey besties, welcome to Cozy Rosie Reviews from my couch. Today I am doing a movie review for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, currently in theaters. It is from director James Mangold, who also directed Logan, and it stars Harrison Ford, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Antonio Banderas, Toby Jones, and John Rhys Davies. In it, Indiana Jones races against time to retrieve a legendary artifact that can change the course of history. This was the first movie not to be directed by Steven Spielberg, and it shows. But when I first saw the trailer, it looked interesting, and I was overall excited to see it. After having watched it, it is somewhat of a journey. The beginning starts off really exciting. It's basically a flashback that hasn't been in any of the other movies. It is a brand new created flashback. It was exciting. It was action packed. It was the indie we know and love. And of course, he was CGI de aged and he looked good. I could have definitely enjoyed an entire movie of just whatever that storyline would have been. Now when it came to the present day of the storyline, Indiana Jones is reconnected with his goddaughter Helena and their dynamic was just really weird. Like she made fun of him for being an old man and he made fun of her. It was just like a really weird dynamic. Granted, she did something that kind of betrayed his trust a little bit, but I feel like if that dynamic was written in a different way where they were more like besties instead of bumping heads, this would have been a smoother movie and probably a little more enjoyable because then there were things that happened where they were together and like, it just wasn't as fun because there was all of this slight animosity between the two. I wish they could have just worked together from the beginning. And then the end. It's a little cheesy, I'm not gonna lie. It does tie it all together beginning to end, but it's also kind of weird. With all the movies that we have about time travel and that whole time dynamic, I feel like the end was kind of thrown together a little just to like, well, we gotta end at some point. Let's just, boom, do it here. So that was a little strange, but it tied things together. Then it ended and they put Indy to bed. Literally. Uh, and I won't explain that. You just have to watch the ending. But don't get me wrong. The movie did have a lot of really cool, really good moments. It was just a really long movie and there were a lot of things that could have been cut out. And... Antonio Banderas makes a slight little cameo and I loved him in this and uh, I wish I could have seen more of that. But overall, those were my biggest takeaways. It does come full circle. It could have been a little shorter. It did have exciting parts, but there were also some questionable parts. So for rating, I give Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny a three. It was solid. Was it the best Indiana Jones I've ever seen? No, that was the first one for me. And after that, the rest weren't as great. So it kind of followed the same pattern here. But I think they can still be proud with what they put out into the world. It wasn't a complete bomb. It just sometimes missed the mark with the essence of Indiana Jones. So. Indiana Jones and Doll of Destiny, have you seen it? What did you think? Leave a comment down below. And if you liked my video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out my merch shop below. So, until next time, friends. Bye.